guys, it's Cade. Today's video is all about healthy eating and the munchies. I apologize if you're not able to hear me. It is pretty windy out here and I don't have my mic or anything. I'm recording on my phone um, and it's bouncing on a rock right now. So if this falls, I'm kind of screwed. So I'm a little bit nervous. This video, I am going to take you grocery shopping and talk about some um, healthy alternatives to eating and kind of just some substitutes and overall healthy meals. Again, I'm not an expert, this is all just based on my personal opinion and my research. Um, so, yeah, let's go shopping. Okay, yeah, I'm way too awkward of a person to be vlogging in a grocery store, but at least I got all my grocery shopping done for the next, like, month, so I will see you at home. I didn't get to filming the rest of this the other day because when I got home, I accidentally took a nap and then went to work. Um, so now I'm doing it today, but before I get into that, um, I am going to get high, of course. <laughs> uh, this is Lavender Jones from Lightshade. It is a pretty uplifting weed, which is super awesome. Um, definitely recommend checking them out. The store is really cool, and they usually have the best prices in Denver that I've found. Um, yeah, but definitely check them out. They're super cool. Um, cheers. So I'm going to break this down into three categories. We're going to do sweet options, kind of salty and savory options, and then other health foods in general, and just kind of tips and tricks when it comes to the munchies. Starting with the first one is sweets. I am a huge, huge, huge sugar junkie, and if I could eat cupcakes and sugar for every meal for like the rest of my life, I would be the happiest person ever. Um, but for the sake of living and not being insanely chubby, I'm not going to do that. So when you are craving sweets, the best option that you should go to is fruits. Um, my favorite fruits are, you know, got your bananas and your peaches. And I think this might be a nectarine because when I went to the store, I thought I was getting peaches. And they felt fuzzy at the store, but now they're kind of a little not fuzzy anymore. Um, so these are essentially the only fruits that I can really eat because I have super sensitive teeth. So something that I really wish that I could eat and try um, would be frozen grapes, which I think would be an awesome munchie just to kind of like snack on and they kind of give you that like almost kind of like icicle-y taste if you like are into popsicles or whatever. Um, same with apples. I can't eat apples, but when I eat them with peanut butter, then that's okay because the peanut butter kind of like dulls down the sweetness or like the acidity. But fruits are definitely uh, one of the best options when you're high and you just really want something sweet and sugary. Um, I recommend that. You can even do some like dried fruits or like fruit chips. I know my favorite dried fruit is pineapple and sometimes I'll even like put that in yogurt or just kind of like mix a bunch of different fruit into yogurt um, and then add some granola which is an awesome high food. Like if you're <laughs> if you're driving and you're like a little, a little stony and you just really want to go to like McDonald's you should definitely get their yogurt parfaits because that's the best high snack ever. Um, I had a friend tell me that a couple of years ago, and ever since then I was like, wow, that's like the best idea. So if you're not a big sugar junkie and you kind of like the more savory stuff, uh, another good healthy munchie option would be trail mix. That is kind of like your uh, sweet and salty depending on what you mix it with. If you go to Target a lot, you should get their monster trail mix because that stuff is my favorite trail mix, and I'm not a big trail mix person, but that's, yeah, I love that stuff. Oh, and then... Also, the cashew caramel one is really good. Granted, it's not the healthiest, but it's super, super good. Recently, I've been on this sunflower seed kick, and I eat, like, handfuls of these, like, throughout the day, and I don't know why. They're just, like, super, super good. And also, almonds are one of the best nuts to snack on. Uh, doesn't have as much fat as peanuts, and they're a little bit heartier. Um, with more protein, of course. So as far as savory food, if you want to get really ambitious, you should definitely try making some fajitas or some other kind of crazy gourmet meal. Um, what's really good that I recently found out is quinoa, and quinoa is like my new obsession. So I do make like a spinach, basil, pesto, quinoa thing, and I'll even throw some shrimp in it sometimes, and that's really good. I get really ambitious when I'm high and want to make like crazy food network dishes. Uh, let me know your favorite high food to make, like your favorite dishes. My weird favorite snack combination is 
iced tea and Cheez-Its. And I don't really know why, like they go really well together, but just for some reason ever since like, middle, I think maybe I used to eat them like middle school for lunch. I don't know, but I just like always had this craving for iced tea and Cheez-Its. Um, so you try that out. Granted, that's not healthy at all, and this is all about healthy meals. <laughs> um, definitely stay away from your fatty foods because it's just gonna kind of like weigh you down. Then you're gonna be like couch locked, and just it's just not gonna be a good day. Other tips and tricks to kind of help with the munchies is brushing your teeth. So if you're just like craving food and there's just all the food in the world looks so good to you, go and brush your teeth or just use some mouthwash because it'll kind of make you not want to eat. And I recently started doing this and it actually makes a pretty big difference and it helps with cotton mouth too, which is um, also a positive thing because cotton mouth sucks. If you are somewhere where you don't have access to your toothbrush or mouthwash, uh, definitely to stay super hydrated, uh, drink a lot of water. Coconut water is really good and that is really, really hydrating. Um, but definitely stay away from juices and sodas that have a lot of sugar and it's just gonna weigh you down. So all in all, if you basically just stay away from your fast foods and getting super high and just wanting to order in pizza and stuff, uh, kind of just think about, you know, what you're eating and yeah, granted you're super high and you don't want to think at all, but just healthy foods can be way more satisfying than sitting there gorging out on pizza. And you don't have to be like a crazy health nut, like I am not by any means, but recently I kind of started changing some things in my life and you know my diet and trying to eat healthier but just staying away from you know sugar and a lot of processed foods kind of just makes all the difference um, especially when you're high because I think when your body's feeling better your mind's gonna be feeling better and your high is gonna be better and it's all in all everything just kind of falls into place a lot better if you guys wanted to see you know like good munchy recipes I could totally do like a little cooking show because I love cooking and I think that'd be really fun so if that's something you'd be interested in and want to see uh, just let me know because I think that'd be really fun. But thank you for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful. If not, feel free to ask me lots of questions. As a little overview, basically, don't eat really shitty food. Eat fruits and vegetables instead. Any kind of sweet and salty, um, healthy options are gonna be a good, satisfying treat. And uh, brush your teeth helps with munchies on cotton mouth. And just don't order Taco Bell every day of your life, even though it's really tempting too. Anyway, uh, follow me, like me, comment below, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.